Well, the 50th Gen Con is going on right now in downtown Indianapolis. It's sold out this year, filled with superheroes, video game characters, and many more oddballs you might see out there, but they like it. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera is live from the convention center where things are just getting started today. And Anna, these folks take pride in those unusual costumes. Yeah, they really do, Naomi, especially today is the big costume contest, so you're more likely to see people in costume probably today uh, than during other parts of the weekend. So if you were watching with us a couple hours ago, it was still kind of quiet. People were getting up, but uh, now you can see people are really starting to fill up the convention center here, getting a really good crowd for what is usually one of the biggest days of, of, uh, of the convention here. And so uh, we wanted to talk uh, with Pete, uh, the CEO of Catan Studios, and his friend, Rob the Sheep, Rob the Robber Sheep. That's the Robber Sheep. Rob is, Rob, Rob actually has a name that we don't know about, but because he's a robber sheep, we don't know it, and uh, we just call him Rob. Okay. Yeah. So you're the CEO of Catan Studio. For people who maybe haven't heard of Settlers of Catan, I don't know anyone who hasn't heard of it. Maybe they don't understand the well, game, but but talk to us a little bit about what the game is all about. Okay. Uh, well, Catan is uh, a game about uh, building and trading and settling on the island of Catan, which is always different every time you encounter it. So every game is a different game because the, the board is different. And it's a social game for uh, three or four players. It plays in about an hour. It's very, very casual. It's very interactive. So you're all, you know, you're trading and settling, uh, even some, you know, get, getting resources and the like in other people's turns. And uh, the object of the game is to build most successfully the best settlement on uh, this island. And uh, it's quasi cooperative. Um, it plays, very, as I say, very smoothly for uh, players 10 and above. And uh, we've been very blessed with this game. It's in about 35 languages. Uh, we've sold about uh, 27 million Catan games in um, 40 different markets around the world. And, you know, it's, it's been the focal point, the gateway to a renaissance of gaming in the United States and, and really all over the world. So yeah, absolutely. We're very excited. We've heard from a lot of people that Catan is kind of a gateway game where when you start playing Catan, that kind of leads you into some of these other games that people are playing here at Gen Con, which is awesome. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Um, okay. we'll, be, uh, we'll have a little bit more with him later on today, and uh, there's a lot of more stuff going on, so we got to go check it out, Naomi. Super. All right, sounds good, That's Anna. Uh, I know we'll join you in just a few moments to see what else is happening, and it looks like a pretty good time so early to see so many people out at the convention center. Well,